Hello again, everyone. This is Original Blood Aces. Review and thoughts of Microsoft's 2012 E3 presentation. So there's a bit of stuff to talk about, so let's just dive right into this. The show starts off with Halo 4. We see a um, live-action trailer type thing, which might be teasing at the 90-minute uh, in total series that's coming later this year. Um, yeah, you see the Halo 4 game starts up, you see the, uh, US, no, UNSC Infinity crashing into the Forerunner planet, Master Chief, whatnot. You see creatures called Promethians, uh, a Forerunner-type weapon, there was no name for it. Some new creatures, you see the, uh, Jackals return, the Elites return, the Grunts. The Battle Rifle switches between one shot and three shots. Um, assault rifle basically the same as Halo 3. Um, one thing that was kind of weird was there was these creatures near the Prometheans that floated in the air, and when you threw a grenade at them, they would catch it and throw it back. Um, now I can't remember for sure, but I think there's a creature like that in Doom, in one of the Doom games, so I guess they're borrowing ideas from Doom. Um... Yeah, the video was probably about, I don't know, seven minutes long or something like that. It wasn't, you know, mind-blowing, but I was pleasantly optimistic and surprised with it, I guess. I am still excited for Halo 4. It was definitely still the most exciting thing for Microsoft show. Um, nothing after that really measured up, I guess, but let's continue. Then they showed Splinter Cell Blacklist. Um, I don't know, just kind of another gener generic killing game, in my opinion. Uh, also supports Connect. whoop de doo and let the Connect crap begin. Uh, FIFA 13 and Madden NFL, whoop de doo has Connect. wouldn't you know it. Fable the Journey, again, Connect. Uh, then one thing that did kind of surprise me was Gears of War Judgment. I thought Gears of War 3 would have been uh, the ending, but they didn't really show any gameplay. It was just kind of like a, a teaser trailer. Uh, it comes out 2013. Uh, Forza Horizon, which looks to me kind of like a combination of um, Need for Speed meets Forza. Now, I don't know about the whole police chasing thing, but just like the driving out on the open road uh, with Forza type thing. Uh, then they talk about Bing Voice uh, for searching for movie genres. Like you can say Xbox horror movies or Xbox comedy uh, to find specific genres of movies, which is... I don't know, entirely pointless, because if you want to look for a certain movie, you just type it in anyway. Um, there's new things coming to the Xbox, like Nickelodeon, because uh, Microsoft is going after, uh, once again, the casuals, trying to take them away from Nintendo, but they're not going to succeed there. Um, NBA and NHL is coming to the 360. Um, I'm not really a fan, so I don't care. Xbox Music is the next thing. Um... I'm not really sure how you would describe it, just it has like, what did they say, 30 uh, million tracks or something you can choose from to play, I don't know. And then Xbox's version of Wii Fit, which is, at least my opinion, uh, Nike Plus Connect Training. Yay, more Connect, just what we always wanted. Um, and then they announced a thing called Xbox Smart Glass, which seems kind of pointless, but what it is, is it connects your TV with your iPad with your phone uh, just so they all kind of work together so you could be watching a movie on your screen your TV screen and then your iPad or your phone would be telling you the cast and crew and other information from the movie and such like that as it's playing I don't really see the point of that but it seems kind of like the direction Nintendo's going with the Wii U how they want it to you know unite all your uh, already owned equipment then they showed off a bit of Halo 4 on the Waypoint, uh, Halo Waypoint. Now, they didn't really do a good job explaining what this really was, but, like, they showed off you can scan the UNSC Infinity in Halo 4, and you unlock a thing on Waypoint. And then it showed off you can get a game invite from Waypoint and play with people uh, on Halo 4 that way. Um, Internet Explorer is coming to the Xbox this fall. Uh, cool, I guess. Just not really sure how restricted it'll be. Um, now this might have just been for me on, uh, for Spike TV. I don't know about, like, the live broadcast on Xbox, uh, 
the system. But on Spike TV, there was a, a please stand by moment, which is just a fail, in my opinion, um, with technical difficulties. Anyway, and then um, Windows 8, they talked a bit about how it's going to have uh, games on Windows 8 and music and such. Then they showed off Tomb Raider, which, you know, it's been a while since we had a Tomb Raider game. I don't think I'll get it, but it looked not too shabby, I guess. Um, a game called Ascend New Gods comes out in 2013. Kind of looks like a, a Darksiders-type style game, in my opinion. I don't know, I'll keep an eye on it, but I don't know about it. Um, a game I think that was called Loco Cycle. Uh, they didn't show off anything about it, just kind of like a person talking, and then there was like a, I thought it was a Tron, a Tron Cycle or something, but... Um, yeah, then there was a game called Matter, another Connect game, whoop de doo uh, At first I thought it was like Portal 3 they were showing off or something, but yeah, not much news on it. Then Resident Evil 6, they showed off a bit of gameplay and whatnot. Uh, I gotta say, it looks good, but not really amazing. Um, yeah, I'll still wait till the demo comes out and I'll play that and give it a test myself. Then this lady came out and showed a game called Wrecketeer, which is basically Xbox's version of Angry Birds. Um, comes out this summer. Again, kind of odd. And then we hear about a South Park game called South Park Stick of Truth. Um, <laughs> wow, just wow is all I can say. Uh, I've never been a fan of South Park. I just don't like the comedy. But then we move on to... Dance Central 3, and they had this dude dancing around on stage, saying and whatnot. Not a fan of the dance game, so whatever. Then they wrapped up uh, their show with Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and then I was quite surprised. I was like, what? There's no Kinect on it? What a disappointment. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, that was about all they showed. There was no Xbox 720. Let me just say that once more. No new Xbox was even mentioned or hinted at at all. Um, I was a bit surprised that they didn't show off any Assassin's Creed 3, but maybe Ubisoft wants Nintendo to reveal it. Or not really reveal it, but, you know, show it off. Um, no Lost Planet 3. I was kind of disappointed with that. Uh, no Borderlands 2. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, my overall rating out of 10 for Microsoft's press conference this year, I'm going to give them a 5.5 out of 10. Just because they started off really good with Halo 4, you got the excitement going, Gears of War, the surprise kind of, you know, bumped up people's excitement and kept it going. But again, they stick with just trying to stuff Kinect down our throats, and people just don't care about Kinect. Um, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 kind of spiked up people's interest again at the end, but... Not mine, so my personal rating, 5.5 out of 10. It was decent. I would say it was a little bit better than uh, their last year's press conference. Um, there was no, like, Disney Cookie Monster game on Connect or whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. So stick around for my Sony review and thoughts and Nintendo's review and thoughts. Um, yep, see you then. <laughs>